been a minute since I've done an amp test Tuesday video. I finally got my power supply all nice. Everything's stout. Everything can handle whatever I want to throw at it up to about 10,000 watts anyways. But I haven't really had a chance to actually do an amp test Tuesday on this bench yet. I use it for all kinds of stuff. I power up my amps for other tests, but never a flat out power test. So let's go find something on the shelf and see what it does. Amps, 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 everywhere. And I got these two right here I've been looking at for a while, and I haven't had a chance to do anything with them. Now it seems kind of crazy having an amp like this hooked up with all that zero gauge. Actually, that's double zero. This Sound Digital 3300.1, it's got four 2 aught cables on it. It really only needs four zero gauge cables, but that's what I have over here on the bench. But four gigantic cables running this amp right here, and then bam, we're going to bust this thing out right here. I don't even know if I have wire small enough for those little terminals. I know I got some four gauge on here, but... Those are going to have to have some sort of an adapter too, because even those aren't big enough. All right, people are starting to show up to the shop. The machines are getting ready to get turned on, so as usual, it's going to be buzzing in here and all kinds of stuff. But um, we'll get the machines started, and I'll try to figure out how to get four gauge onto those little tiny spade terminals. Should be all right. We'll figure it out. Matter of fact, I already have a plan in mind. Some of this laying around. A little bit of this should do. One black, one red. Good to go. Done deal. A little bit of eight gauge levens. I don't know if this amp requires four gauge inputs or what it requires. I wouldn't even know how to put four gauge on here without shredding the cable down all the way to something small enough to where I get it in there to begin with. So I guess eight gauge it would be. But back in those days, you would probably bring a four gauge cable from the front up to a distribution block of some sort. And then from there, you go into the amp with a smaller wire. You probably wouldn't want to run eight gauge all the way from the front. To the back to me that's kind of a long run even for four gauge but definitely eight gauge is it's real long so that's probably how it was hooked up in the past Now this amp looks kind of sizey for 200 watts or whatever it is, but a lot of this is heat sink. There's some serious business going on in here. I say we open it up and take a look. Oh, it's really, really dusty in there. You know what, I'm glad I'm pulling this thing apart because it's dirty.
not super dirty. This side over here has a lot of shit on it, though. That'll be easy to clean out. I wonder what these are for. Oh, yeah, that thing is just dirty. Brand new. We're good to go. All right, now we know what it looks like on the inside. I got it all cleaned up. Time to put it back together real quick. It's only a couple of screws, and I say it's time to test it. See what it really puts out. Bridge the channel so I can get all the power in one shot rather than trying to split it into two. Looks like four ohms is going to be my limit. All we got to do is plug it into the SMD81. Let's find out. All, right, all I can find is some very scarce info. All right, so it looks like this thing is 100 watts times two into two ohms, or 200 watts times one into four ohms. So we got it all bridged. Let's hook it up to the 81. Let's find out if I was getting my $200 worth back in the day.
certified, 234, up to clipping, non-certified, and 205, dynamic RMS. If you ask me, I see the Zapco AG200 passed the test. It did exactly what it was supposed to do, like on the dot. I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, the least I can do is hook it up. Even though these SMDs take 1,500 watts a piece, we're at eight ohms. They're probably 50 watts a piece right now. Right on. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.